This desk is getting full. Hey guys, good morning. Jen Cravasi, Jekyll Bates. And it's Monday morning for me. It's probably going to be Monday for you when you guys watch this video, although not necessarily. So thanks for the view whenever it is that you guys watch. This desk is getting full. Um, you guys have already seen this stuff. I'm just getting ready to ship out stuff. It was a holiday weekend, so all the stuff that you know Saturday normally goes is going to go this morning. I've got a couple of pieces that I want to show you, and I also have, before we get started on this, a couple of announcements. I am going to be doing a spray session on this Clash 9, K9. Um, the customer has asked for a bluegill pattern. Even though this is a trout-shaped bait, I can still make that happen for the customer. So, looks like they have already sanded it down some. This is going to get done this week. I know I've been promising and promising a spray session. My apologies. It has been a mentally challenging, crazy week here at the shop. So that's going to happen. I'm also going to be doing, it's not going to be small waters, probably for a couple more spray sessions. Um, also have these two for Justin Brewer that um, should have fired yesterday morning, but I ended up doing um, another emergency rush one. Um, for a client. So this is going to get done today. And then let's see, Tuesday, you guys are going to probably see something that I put together for you guys last week, which is going to be a real quick tips and tricks for you guys, because I am going to be on the water tomorrow. So tomorrow, I, I worked all weekend, so I'm taking tomorrow off. It's going to be my only day off of the week, but I'm hooking up with my buddy CJ and his wife Lacey. They have sitters for the kids, which I'm stoked about. We are, I love the kids too, but we're going to go uh, to the tailwaters on the Norfolk River where it meets the White River, and we're going to do a little bit of a, a beach sesh. So there is some, some really good trout fishing and bass fishing in that area. There's a couple of creeks that are around there. And Norfolk, the city of Norfolk, or the town actually of Norfolk, Arkansas, has some really cool historical value. So we're gonna go check it out. We're gonna go probably have a bite at uh, one of the local restaurants there and hopefully catch some really good trout for you guys. And who knows what else. So we're just gonna make a day of it. Should be fun, stay tuned for that one. Into this. So before we do the pieces on here, I wanted to give a shout out and, oh, I hope I don't butcher your last name. Um, people do it with my name all the time. You have a very um, short last name, but I'm hoping that uh, Jen Daigle, I'm hoping that that's correct. If it's Daigle, I apologize, but I'm going to pronounce it Daigle, like bagel, only with a D. Um, I got the coolest present, and, and spoiler alert, I've already unboxed it, but I wanted to take a minute because I'm always really humbled by stuff from you guys. Like I never expect to get presents. I ask if you want to contribute, um, you know, any ideas or creative thoughts, or if you want to send me stuff that's legal, send it to, but I, I'm never really doing that expecting stuff. Um, I think that that's a little bit grandiose and that's just not who I am. It's not my style, but when I get stuff, it's just awesome. It's just so awesome when you guys send me stuff. So I'm going to read this letter and then I'm going to show you what she sent. She did send four beautiful lures. Jen, I wanted to send you a few lures that I've painted as a thank you. I've been watching your channel for about two years now and have learned so much from you. I am so very grateful that you share your knowledge and take the time to share with all of us the techniques, tips, and ideas that you have learned. You're always so upbeat and positive and so very inspirational. I always look forward to your next video. I first found your channel with your video on a painting a lure without airbrush. A lot of people are using nail polish, and I do that for like kids that want to start out, um, just to interject into the conversation. I've done a couple of challenges with nail polish, and I'm a big fan of nail polish, being a girl. Um, so yeah, I use it, and there's a lot of products out there that kind of go, uh, they're off the radar, they're overlooked. So yeah, you can do stuff without an airbrush. So cool, that's very cool. Um, Painting lures without an airbrush, using nail polish. Now I have an Awada Eclipse and absolutely love spraying and fishing my own lures. I even entered the Lure Parts Online Coolest Lure Contest for the first time this year. That's awesome. Yay, Jen. Go you. Thanks so much, Jen, for all your hard work and generosity. God bless and happy casting, Jen Daigle. Jen, thank you so, so much. And you guys got to see what she sent me. So she sent me four lures. 
which I'm just thrilled to get a letter from you guys. But when you guys send me like cool stuff like that, now you know this is not going to sit on my shelf, Jen. This is going to get fished. Um, I might even take this little dude out for some brown trout. Let's see. Well, maybe the pop. I don't know. Like this is just really cool, but it needs to be fished. When when we create things, they're meant to be used. Um, some people just like to admire it. That's cool. Um, I like to use stuff. So Jen, I'm going to get use out of this. I promise you. Thank you so very much. So we have a beautiful craw on this little, it looks like a 1.5, maybe a 2. I'm not 100% sure that this is a, um, this might be, uh, it's not quite a 2 point. Okay, you got to tell me what you used. I don't know. Is this a one? Is this a, it's not a strike king. It looks like you might have done this on like a, a decent lure. So, wow. Wow. That's awesome. Same with this. These are fantastic, by the way. Really cool splatter pattern. I love the splatters. I used to do them all the time. I've kind of gotten away from that only because everybody's asking me for the technical stuff, which is cool, but I love these. I love the splatter back patterns. I also love these guys too. I fish the heck out of them in dirty water. And then this wicked, wicked cool, almost like a snakeskin pattern. I could tell that you used some netting on it. I love the color combinations on this. These are fantastic, Jen. Thank you so, so much for these. And it looks like this might be some art that you have put on yourself, maybe? And this is just cool. So thank you, thank you for that. That's awesome. I've just got a few pieces to show you. You know we're going to close with this one because I'm amped every time I get swim baits to repaint. It's just like the coolest thing since sliced bread. So um, start off with this little guy. Now this is more of an abstract bluegill pattern. Pretty cool with that. And then these are those um, cabochet glass eyes. You can pick them up off of Amazon, and I do have a link in the description below. I know I've got a lot of stuff linked below, but that's because you guys ask me where I get everything, which is fine. I, I have no problem sharing. But um, just dig through it um, before you comment, which I'm, I know that somebody's going to say, like, hey, where'd you get the art? There's always, you know, what's really funny is, like, every single time I mention in a video what pen I use, always it's murphy's law i'm gonna get a question in that video what pen i use and i just think it's funny i don't care you guys write what you want to write as long as it's not slanderous um because that's it's a family channel so um and also with that if you guys do or if you guys are just out to troll which i don't think my my client base is but there's some people like there's bots out there um if there's bots that i miss and and i'm meaning this and like um in a help me, you know, like I, if I've seen a lot of really strange stuff lately and it's been like online dating sites and stuff that kids should not be clicking on. And probably some of it has got malware and viruses. And these are not people per se that are putting these links on people's comments on creators comments. And it's certainly not stuff that we intend to go out to the public. We're not doing it, but they're called bots. And those of you that are familiar with a lot of social media platforms and viruses and stuff, you guys probably see that from time to time. And I try and catch as much as I can, but I'm only one person. I'm in-house. So if you guys see some really random weird stuff in my comments and you happen to catch it, hit me a direct message at jencravasi at jekyllbaits.com so that I can erase that off of there and report it to YouTube. I mean, I don't care if I... If some Sometimes subscribers are not human their their programs their software programs and they just attach themselves to different channels just so that they can spew out spam and stuff that you guys can get trapped as users and subscribers and and clicking bad links so don't do that i try and catch as much of it as i can sorry i ran long on that but that's just if help me out if you guys see that please because we're trying to eradicate it off the channel it's very difficult to do and there's been a slew of crap lately so it's been i've seen it on fishful thinkers i've seen it on 
several different channels. So this is a Buca Baby Bull Shad. It's the collab with Ketchco, which is, if, if you guys don't know, it's Mr. Tackle Box, which I am not affiliated with officially, um, but I have purchased their stuff. And the, I used to be a pro Tackle Box subscriber. Unfortunately, in running a business, I had to sink every dime into just buying supplies for my business. So I have uh, suspended the, the, uh, the subscription, but I still enjoy their products and I love what they do and I love the brands that they've built. Um, this is a collab with Mike Buca. Mike Buca being the bullshad guy. He's a Georgia guy, uh, so he's a fellow southerner and love his products. They, they created a smaller version of a very popular, excellent swimming bait. And they've made it at a price point that's affordable and extremely fishable for everyone. So if you don't have heavy rods, if you don't have like the 7.3 Lama glass rods and the, the extra heavy stuff that can throw these two and three and four ounce swim baits or ounce swim baits, this is something that's tailored to all of you guys out there. It's a half an ounce, probably a little bit more with a custom paint job. And as a matter of fact, I weighed it. It's just over. It's like um, 9 sixteenths, uh, which is one sixteenth over what it is normally dressed. Comes with real super sticky hooks. It has no split ring on the uh, line tie, which most swim baits don't. And it's got his traditional hair tail. This is for Calvin Hopkins. It's one of several pieces that he has ordered. Some were, um, I've still got to do like three or four of his. So he just sent me a bunch of stuff to repaint, which is awesome. I'm happy to do it. I love doing custom orders as much as I do website stuff. But this is, uh, I will show you the picture above, right there, right there on your screen of the fish that he asked me to reproduce. And uh, I got close. Probably should have gone a little bit more yellow with the mix on this, but it dried differently than it sprayed. Sometimes it happens that way. I mixed a pretty decent paint color, but it dried just a little bit darker. And a lot of times paints will, especially your greens and your browns. They'll dry a little darker. And then this, I did the, um, the lines, the bluegill lines with uh, raw umber, which I normally use sepia or the detail black magenta. So, Baby Bull Shad, I think the price point across the board, across the United States, I'm not sure about internationally, it's $14.99. So, $15 plus tax. It's affordable to everybody. It's a great bait. I've seen it used. The Guggen Boys use it. The guys from Ketchco use it. It's widely renowned, and it does behave very similarly to his original larger Bull Shads. So, there is that. This was cool. I, I normally go all out for the 4th of July, but I've been so slammed here in the studio. Just haven't had a chance to make, make a bunch of extra stuff that's not for orders. But I really, I want to kind of do an American Heritage series. And this is the Great Plains one. Of course, it's got a buffalo on it. It's red, white, and blue. And it's got the year 2020 on it. Nice little popper. Um, runs about uh, 7 sixteenths ounce dressed. And uh, good rattles, real good rattles. I'm, uh, my microphone is off camera, the good one. So you guys are probably hearing that. There we go. Um, then I did a couple without. I did them with a blue base and a red base and a white base. This one is still available. This was the 4th of July edition for 2020. Enjoyed it. Nothing super fancy. I wanted to kind of do something more that was workable and working that people are going to want to throw. So that's what I came up with. This is going out to Troy Johnson. This is on that Dinger pressing. And this is uh, actually the same one that was in the package that I talked about on my top favorite blanks to purchase. So if you guys have not seen that video, go check that out. So it is worth the view, in my opinion may not be in yours. That's what I've got for you guys this morning. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me on the channel. I appreciate the view. I hope you have a fantastic week. I hope I have a fantastic day fishing tomorrow. If not, you guys are not going to see a video. Um, I had a really good day on the White River and unfortunately I didn't have GoPro SD cards with me. That is not going to be the same mistake repeated twice tomorrow. You guys take care. See ya.
Cheers and happy casting from Jekyll Bates.